one Everton won. Another disastrous performance at home for Ole Gunnar Solskjaer and Manchester United. No clean sheet in nine home games at Old Trafford. The worst run since the 1970s. Ole Tax is real. This squad with the quality of player should not be dropping points at this level at home, especially in the Premier League. A defeat last week at the same time against Aston Villa. Almost another defeat today against Everton Football Club. It is simply not good enough from Manchester United. The fits and starts with the intensity. Some good plays followed by some bad play. The lack of defensive structure when out of possession is atrocious. Conceding that goal on the counter-attack, there was no need to commit so many men forward to that corner. We were leading the game. Holes at the back. We almost got exposed from the from the Yerimina goal that was disallowed. Again, everybody bombing forward. No, no accounting. No accounting for if we lose possession. It is an awful, awful structure that's being played in these games. The lack of intensity of times is an absolute killer. It's atrocious from Manchester United Football Club. And Oli has to go. He has to be sacked. Today was an opportunity for Manchester United to move into a position to be top of the table. It may only have been for a few hours until Chelsea play. It may only have been for 24 hours until Liverpool and City play. But to not to apply that pressure upon your rivals is unacceptable. It is completely and utterly unacceptable. And I think you could, for me, you could be at Oli Inner last season, Oli Inner at the beginning of this year. With the squad we have, it is unforgivable. He made big changes today, had a good first half overall, or good first half. And in the second half again, just like against Aston Villa, backwards, backwards, backwards. This if this board has got any ambition of achieving something this season, next season, the year after. Oli has taken this football club as far as he can. As far as he can. We may be sitting second in the league. We won't be sitting second in the league by the end of this weekend. We could be as low down as fifth. And people will say, oh, but we're only a handful of points at the top. If you can't see the pattern that is emerging, that we're two or three points off top, then it'll be four, then it'll be six, then it'll be eight, then it'll be 10, then it'll be 12. Then people will start to moan. To not be Everton and Aston Villa in back-to-back -back home games, it's the embodiment of not being in a title race. It's the embodiment of not having a good enough manager. It is the embodiment of not being good enough overall. Oli is the common denominator here. The squad's got better every year. But still, at these pivotal moments, these watershed moments, can we just apply the pressure? And do you know what will end up happening? This is Oli's nine lives again. You'll see a shock result for Chelsea and a draw in the game tomorrow between Liverpool and City. And points-wise, will look OK again. We got away with it last weekend with Chelsea losing and Liverpool throwing away a lead twice against Brentford. That isn't what we should be relying upon. Teams that legitimately challenge for titles win the majority of games like today. Your home win ratio has to be exceedingly high, at least in the high 70s to, to mid 80s as a bare minimum. And the games you're not winning have to be draws at the very least. That's already two games on the bounce where we've failed to win at home this season. Our home fall last year was costing us and it's costing us again now. It's an absolute disgrace. It's a disgrace. Absolutely horrendous. If this club has any ambition, you say, thank you, Oli. You shake his hand, you pay him up, and you bring in a manager with a higher ceiling, a higher quality. Save the season now. I know Oli Innes will say, it's too early. It's too early. It isn't. In the next five to six games, if we continue to perform like this, if we continue to perform in this way, we are, we're out of the title race. We'll be out of the title race. And even if we sack Oli then, the new manager coming in isn't going gonna, isn't gonna to be able to claim back eight to 12 points against the Liverpools, Cities and, and, and Chelsea football clubs. It's going to get worse, in my opinion. But I do want your thoughts and feelings. I'm going to open up the link very, very soon for you to come in. Legendary villain here says, mate, what happened to we do not need to panic? I keep telling you, Terry, since 2019, why do you, why do you listen to the football all-knowing legendary villain? Well, brother, it's about, listen, everyone's going to be able to, at moments in football, will have 
claims that they're right about, claims that they're wrong about. I, I would say this. You have, you've been bang on about Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. I don't know all your footballing opinions. Um, and you're right about this one. And I'm agreeing with you. It is what it is. In terms of panicking, though, just because I'm not going to sit on a stream and panic about all our upcoming fixtures, that, that doesn't mean I don't understand what the problems at the club are. I'm just not going to sit here and start panicking about games that are eight weeks away. <laughs> I can't do that, my friend. But thank you for the super chat. I really appreciate it. I've got a comment here from uh, Terry Shiny Forehead. It says, isn't this what the... Isn't this what the your so-called Oli Alters have been saying the whole time, Terry? You're flip-flopping now. Well, I've never said at any point that I thought Oli was good enough to win us his trophies. What I wanted was the questions answered. Build him a squad that's good enough to win, and then we know. There's no more debate for me. We have our answers. People that were Oli out all along can say we were absolutely right. Reasonable Oli inners will say, do you know what? Yeah, you guys were right. There we go. I'm not worried about a fan-on-fan -fan argument here or who was right, who was wrong. I'm focusing on what the football club needs to do from a progression point of view, and that is sack Oli. There's a comment here from a Sebastian that says, I think Oli got the subs wrong again. Lingard is a better choice than Sancho, who is still finding his feet. I thought Sancho did quite well, to be fair, uh, in relation to his performance. Sut Nuts says, to make it worse, Everton almost... Um, were almost second string with their players out. Not good enough. Exactly. Richarlison missing. Dominic Calvert-Lewin missing. It's an embarrassment. It's an absolute embarrassment uh, for Manchester United Football Club. There is, there's just no doubt about it. It's, it's, an atro it's atrocious. Deborah here says, what the F game was that? Your boy was useless and still hold, uh, and I still hold my bet. You go the day without singing his praises. Too bad. Sorry about the game. Well, I will not be mentioning Ronaldo today, Deborah. so I'm expecting you a $1,000 don donation later on in the show. We had a super chat that came in from uh, Ak Akesh here that says, Sul, 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 Oli in forever. Jason says, please give Oli Gunnar Solskjaer a lifetime contract. But as usual, United got a get out of jail free card. Pep Guardiola is the greatest manager ever says Man United are not getting top four with laughing emojis. Robbie Singh with a super chat here says, at this rate, Oli is going. He will even screw up cooking a two-minute noodle. He has everything to be successful and all he has to do is keep, all he has to do is keep simple. He keeps trying to turn a two-minute noodle into a five-star restaurant spaghetti bolognese. I hear what you're saying there. And I said it the other day about Oli, and this is what frustrates me the most about what he's doing right now. We should be getting better, but we're getting worse. That's a mentality issue. It's dealing with the pressure. It's dealing with the pressure. A Luis Enrique, a Zinedine Zidane, takes us up two, three tiers in terms of how we play football. But more importantly, they instill a winning mentality that gets us to the next stage of winning. Oli's done a great job getting us to the point we're at because of where we were. We were on our knees when he took over. The club was in bits, our transfer strategy, our approach, the, the toxicity in the dressing room. I will never forget that. But this club has to start winning. We have to start winning now. We have Cavani and Ronaldo and Pogba here, all of which will be gone in two years' time if we don't resolve this matter. You bring in a winning manager now, you bring them in now, and Man United can start winning trophies again and keep these players. 